Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to have you here. I'm Brandon, I'm your director of choreographer guide. I'm here to help you understand the process of how theater and dance get made. Because I believe that if you understand the process, you'll appreciate the product more. Today we have a very special reaction breakdown that I'm very excited about. We'll be reacting to Beetlejuice the Musical. This is a huge fan favorite. I am so excited to talk about it with all of you. Now, what makes this reaction and breakdown special is that we're actually gonna be comparing two different videos from one song, Say My Name. Someone on TikTok did a really great job of putting the two videos on top of each other so you can see the little bit of differences in the performance, and we're gonna delve deep into that. I made a really short version of this over on TikTok. If you don't follow me there, please do. And I'm so excited to get to have a little bit more time to get into the details with you here. So let's set the scene a little bit before we dive in and watch together, okay? Beetlejuice is directed by Alex Timbers and has choreography by Connor Gallagher. And in these videos, you're gonna be seeing the original Beetlejuice, who is still in it, Alex Brightman, in both videos, but then with two different Lydias, okay? You're gonna be seeing Elizabeth Teeter, who is the current Lydia on Broadway, and Sophia Ann Caruso, who was the original Lydia. It's great to be able to compare these different performances, but we'll actually be really focused on Alex Brightman and how his movement in this song is choreography and how it's grown over the several years that he's been in the show. This song is not a huge dance number like some of the other things we've looked at together, but it's still choreography, okay? Small gesture work is still choreography. And the staging of this song was probably a collaboration between Alex Brightman, Alex Timbers, the director, and Connor Gallagher, the choreographer, all coming together to figure out what makes sense. And what we're gonna see here is how Alex Brightman has really sat into the role and is really finding new nuances with it right now on Broadway. All right, without further ado, let's dive in. We're getting thrown in right in at the top here, okay? And this is what I want you to pay attention to. The gestures of Alex, the beginnings and ends of the gestures, and how they have a lot more cleanliness to them, all right? If you look at the top video, that's the original production, okay? And he has this frantic energy because, you know, that fits the character of Beetlejuice. But in the newer production, he's still able to have that frantic energy, but within these clamps, right? Within these buckets. And so it actually makes it funnier and sharper, especially here. Check this out. Watch the way he finishes and begins these edges. Boom. It's subtle, but just the little bits of the way, do you see how it begins and ends? It begins and ends. Yes, we're gonna get through and watch it again. Okay, let's watch that again. Okay, the way he's able to just very much bring your eye to, here's the thing I want you to do, right? There isn't extra stuff happening with the head as there is in the original production, right? He's able to simplify it, which actually makes it better and cleaner and smarter and funnier. Because in choreography, when we're thinking about humor, we're really always wanting to be think about the beginnings and ends and making sure there's space there. When we're thinking about comedic timing, right? We wanna make sure whatever, fumbling our lines, right, if we're an actor. And the same applies to our bodies, right? If you kind of just continue to move, the audience doesn't know what you're doing. But if you go, here's the next one, here's the next one, here's the next one, you're able to draw their eye and that's what makes it really fun, okay? So let's take another look at this spot here. Going backwards, going backwards. All right, boom. Okay. So here we go, boom. He's just on it, got, right? It's just not a lot of extra movement. He's just keeping it together. That's great. Okay, let's keep watching. Right, see, he took out this little gesture here. Let's notice that again. He took out this gesture. It's not necessary for the plot. It's not necessary for the story. It was just a little added thing which he had in his character, but now he's deleted it because it's actually about driving through the lyrics in this moment and the rhythm and the fun with Lydia. So we don't need it. Let's look at it. how, you know, just deleted it. Here we go. Boom. Right, because in the bottom, if you notice, one, two, three, rule of threes in choreography. Let me show you this. Boom. Instead of oh, I'm gonna do this, and now I'm waiting for her, he's actually allowing a build to happen, people. A build of the choreography, which is great. It's so subtle, okay? Watch this. He's gonna, instead of this, he's gonna have stay with Elizabeth, then he's gonna turn, and then he's gonna grow on his words. What, like, he's gonna have the one, two, three. 
That is actually better. That's better storytelling, okay? Take a look at this. All right, watch this bottom. One, just the head, then it's the body, then it's the grow. Whoa, here it's going up. Right, and then there's that really great drop in the level. Okay, we're stopping and starting because this is so subtle, but it matters, okay? I love this tiny little 30 second part is completely different actually. You might not notice it when you first take a look at it. So I love that I get to show it with you. I think you can hopefully tell that I'm excited about this. Okay, look at the levels here. He's growing and cuz, boom, right? In the new one, he creates this new posture. And he's like, whoa, I'm gonna reset. He didn't do that before, it's great. Right, all these new kind of findings of his physicality, but they're all sharp. They have beginnings and ends, right? Versus that stuff on the top, it was kind of just all over the place. Again, out to us more clear. It's just, it's not muddy. It's not muddy, right? And it allows the relationship between the two characters to come through more clearly, which is so fantastic. Again, this is such a great example of how choreography is more than meets the eye. And choreography doesn't mean kicking your face all the time. It's these little subtle movements. And Alex is able to develop them because he's lived with the character for so long that he can find ways to chisel away at his performance, right? So instead of the show getting stale, instead of his performance getting stale, his simplification is actually allowing it to grow and become new and special. I hope you found it interesting to watch this through with me. There's such subtle details that I love that we're getting to explore. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm rebooting this channel. We got lots of new stuff coming your way. So let me know in the comments what other videos do you wanna see. Do you wanna see more Beetlejuice? Are there other shows? I need all of your suggestions and I'm so excited to break it all down with you. Thank you again for being here and until next time, wherever you are, keep on dancing.